Hey y'all, how are you doing today? I'm coming to you to show you how to do a the star that's on the Converse slipper. Hopefully this is bright enough. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I had is I went ahead and did the liberty of doing a chain two. And after I did the chain two in the second chain, I did eight half double crochets. Then I did slip stitch into the first chain. And that's how this came about. As you can see, it's the same size as this one. Okay, and the hook I used was a I. Okay, make sure you leave a long enough tail so this way you can sew this in to the side of the Converse slipper. Okay, I'm trying to find some black yarn. You can use any kind of black yarn that you want. You can either use Mainstay, the cheapest from Walmart, or if you want to use, um, I don't know, Red Heart, that's up to you, whatever you choose. Just be sure to have a long enough piece. Okay, and we'll go ahead and thread it into the needle. I don't know the size of this needle, so I'm sorry I'm not able to tell you. Okay, that's all you do is thread it in. Now, what you do is you go in the back. Pull it through. Leave long enough so this way you can sew it in if you want. Then you go up to 12 o'clock, which is right here on top. Pull it through. Now you go back down here at this bottom right here, on the other side. Go back on top, this corner here. Now it looks like an upside down V. Then you go on the far left hand corner, which is over here. And then you go across onto the other side, which is right here. And as you can see, you're starting to see the shape of the star. And you come down here at the bottom, on this right hand side. Pull through. And then go to this far corner on the left. Now you go to this side on the far right, which is right here, and then you connect it to this side right here. As you can see, it's shaped like a star now. Now you just take your black yarn and you fill in the little spaces that you see the white as best as you can so this way it looks more of a solid star Okay, as you can see it's fairly filled in once you do that you just cut well actually I don't know let me backtrack I just go back here and try to make a little knot. Oops. And me, I personally, I leave it just a little bit of a length only because you could take and you could tuck it in behind it. And on this side, you would take and you would sew it in also in the beginning part. and make a knot as you can see I did a little bit too close I'll do that again okay I'm just going to manually do it by hand because it wasn't long enough piece make it a knot 
I cut it a little bit so it's not so much hanging over, but I don't cut it all the way to the beginning because if you do that, it's going to wind up unfixing, and we don't want it to do that. Okay, we just neatly tuck it in. Okay, I don't have this finished yet, but we are going to situate it. I'm thinking it's going to be on this side. So I'm thinking probably right back here. We tuck in all the loose ends. And then we just hand sew it in. All the way around the border. Okay, me personally, I take this and I shove it back in there and just run it to the other side so this way it's a little extra security for my behalf that I know for sure that I'm not going to, it's not going to unfix. Okay, there you have it. There's the finished product, as you can see on this other shoe. And that's how you do the star. Alright, y'all have a good day. Alrighty, bye bye